beautiful people. And I say good morning because it is 8.47. It is my first day officially working from home on Wednesday. So my work gave us that opportunity to do like paperwork and stuff like that from home for one day a week. So this is my first day at home. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my breakfast bowl if you haven't seen it already. So I know I talk about making these all the time, but I haven't like showed you guys how I do it in a really long time. I'm gonna update you on the calories and stuff like that. So let me grab a spoon really quick. Okay, so I make these every single morning and I normally eat them like right when I get to work with my protein coffee, but I wasn't hungry when I first woke up. So this is just the way we're gonna do it. So first thing, I've been using this Oikos Triple Zero yogurt. There's a lot of them that I've used, but this has 17 grams of protein for three quarters of a cup, which is really good, especially for me because I'm trying to get more protein into my diet. So, fresh container. Sorry, I still am like so tired. I need to wake up. I've already been doing some stuff on my computer, but my brain is just tired. Also, I played Wordle today. Comment down below if you play Wordle. I love Wordle. And I played Quirtle, which is like four words for one. It's really interesting. So anyway, I'm going to get a half a cup of this yogurt. And I'm, I have a bowl down here. I'll show you guys when everything's like all done. But I normally eat about a half a cup of the yogurt. Um, this yogurt by itself, not that good. But when you mix it with everything else, it's pretty good. Okay, that's good enough. So that's what a half a cup of the yogurt looks like. And then I always like, you know, you gotta save your silverware. You don't need to use a million. So I rinse off my spoon. Okay, also I like am blind right now because I took my glasses off because it shines in my ring light. So apologize if I'm like, cause I literally can't see. Okay, half cup. And then I have these frozen strawberries. I think the whole strawberries taste so much better than the sliced ones. I don't know why I just live by these. So you can have two thirds cup for 50 calories. I normally just put like four or five frozen strawberries in there. So I'll just do like a little handful. Here's four. I'll do one more because those were kind of small. So then I add my strawberries in there. The frozen ones I like because they're cheaper. I can get a bag like this and it'll last me a really long time. It's like $10 for the bag, but then you have the bag for literally ever. And then I add some of this light whip topping. So this is from Kroger. It is 50 or 20 calories for two tablespoons. Basically, I just take a spoon like this. It's about one and a half, two tablespoons. Add that right into the yogurt. You're gonna mix this all together. So it looks really ugly <laughs> like once it's all made but it's really really good and then this is the cereal that i've been putting in it recently this is the special k protein plus it has nine grams of protein for one cup it's 160 calories which is kind of like calorie heavy but i still like it i mean i'm having a big old breakfast for less than 300 calories so i don't complain too much so then i have my one cup right here and I pour my cereal in. So, I mean, it's a little less than a cup, but it's fine. So then I dump all that cereal in there. You don't have to use a cup, it's just what I do. And then the last and the best part is I take some light brown sugar. So two teaspoons is 30 calories. So I just literally pinch a little bit off and sprinkle it on top. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Boom, okay. So this is like packed full. There's my little brown sugar on top. And all I do, it's probably gonna be really loud in the camera, I apologize. I just do a good mixy mixy. Ooh, I just lost a piece of cereal. My dogs are gonna love that. Mix, 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 mix. Get everything all together and coated. Like I said, she's ugly, but she's delicious. So this is what it looks like. I'll put the points in the calories at the bottom of the screen, but these breakfast bowls I live by. If you don't like strawberries, you can use grapes and it kind of tastes like a ambrosia salad. I think that's what it's called. And I'm obsessed with it. I've been eating these every single morning. I think they're so good. Anyway, so that is how I make my breakfast bowls. Update on dinner last night. I'm putting my glasses back on. You guys are gonna have a little reflection. Update on dinner last night. 
I shredded the chicken and I cooked some pasta when I got home and then I just put it over. I'm gonna have it for lunch, so I'll show you what it looks like. But I love that Italian chicken. It's so good, it's so easy. And we won our volleyball game. I'll insert a picture of us here. Ugh. We got our little jerseys and everything. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast. I will check with you guys in a little bit and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay guys, check in. It is two o'clock now and I'm just now getting around to making my lunch. So I'm gonna take this off the heat for like two seconds. I have this really teeny tiny pot that I think is so cute and I'm making some of my Barilla Protein Plus pasta. I didn't make enough last night to have leftovers so, cause I knew I'd be home. So I was like, I'll just make it like fresh for myself tomorrow. So I have a cup of the protein pasta and then this is my leftover chicken, Italian chicken. Doesn't look pretty. Just telling you, she doesn't look cute, but she tastes amazing. So. Once this gets done cooking, I'm going to actually, I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave right now. I'm gonna pop it in for like a minute and then I'm gonna put it over the hot noodles because my noodles are almost done. So I'm gonna get this together and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this just went off. I drained my noodles. So here's my chicken and then here's my one cup of pasta. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all of it because i'm oddly not that hungry right now so i'm just gonna scoop scoop some of this on here probably about like a third of what was in here boom all right she's delish she's ready to be eaten so i'm going to be eating this bad boy and then i also just made myself a liquid iv i still need to put the lid on this but I am feeling like super thirsty, so I'm hoping that this liquid IV will kind of like bring me back into hydration mode basically. So I started a new medicine for my mental health, which I talk about my mental health on here all the time, so I don't care. But I started a new medicine and it's like making me really tired and just feeling like I mean, my head, like mentally, oops, mentally I feel great, but like, I'm so tired now. So hopefully this will give me a little kick. This is the tangerine flavor. I'm gonna eat my lunch. Hopefully that gets me back into gear, but I plan to go to the gym today. I haven't been having like good motivation for that either, if I'm being transparent. It's been rough out here, but I'm gonna make myself go anyway, even though I don't want to, cause I know my future self will thank me for it. And yeah, I'll check back in with you guys if I eat anything else or before I go to the gym or just whenever I decide to pick up my camera again. Okay guys, so this video kind of does jump around a bit because I filmed like all of my dinners, but I kind of wanted to have an intro for my video. So you're seeing what I actually made for dinner on Sunday night right now. And I ate it on Monday. I started the video off on Wednesday. You know, your girl's trying to get you all the information and get your video out. So these are cracked chicken burgers and seriously they were so good and super super easy so what you're going to need for these is one pound of ground chicken which i already have in my bowl and then you're going to add a packet of ranch seasoning i just have like the ranch powder so i went ahead and put two tablespoons of the ranch powder and then you're going to add bacon crumbles or real bacon, whatever you want. Bacon crumbles are less calories and points, so I typically gravitate towards those. You're going to add one third cup of bacon crumbs. Then you're going to add a half a cup of reduced fat cheddar cheese and a half a cup of reduced fat shredded mozzarella cheese. And then, you know, it's your girl, so I'm going to add more garlic than it advises, but the recipe calls for one garlic clove. I will have this recipe linked in my description box if you want to follow along there as well, but I just want to let you know. Lastly, what you're going to add is about a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper, and that's it. Then you mash all that together and make some chicken patties. Okay, so the recipe calls for you to cook these on a grill, but your girl does not have a grill, so we're going to be cooking these in my air fryer. I went ahead and already preheated my air fryer. The way I do that is I just put it to 400 degrees, make it like heat up for four minutes, and then that's it. So I went ahead and placed two patties in at a time. They were big, so I couldn't fit them all in my basket because I have like a medium-sized air fryer. But the way I did this is I put them in 400 degrees for four minutes, 
and then I flipped them and then I did another 400 degrees for four minutes and they were still, I read it with my meat thermometer, they were still a little low so I went ahead and put them in for another two minutes and that was perfect. So if you literally did four flip, four flip, two, it will be the perfect chicken patty. Seriously, these are so stinking good. I cannot wait to make them again. So once I made my chicken patty, I went ahead and put it on a Hawaiian bun. So I use the King's Hawaiian buns because, you know, your girl always says like, just eat the bun. It doesn't really matter. Just work it into your calories. Don't eat a nasty bun to make yourself feel like you're eating healthy because you know you want the King's Hawaiian bun and it's literally so good. So there I am putting my little chicken patty. Look how good that looks, guys. The air fryer literally made the edges so crispy with the cheese. It was absolutely delicious. So I didn't just want a chicken sandwich for dinner. So I went ahead and put together a Caesar salad as well. So this is just a dole kit that I get from Kroger. It's just like a Caesar salad, plain old Caesar salad. And it was really, really good. And that's what I had with my dinner. So my dinner this night was the chicken patty with my salad and just so you guys know chicken patty ranges between five to seven points if you're on Weight Watchers and 303 calories so a pretty good dinner especially when you add that salad in wham bam thank you ma'am healthy delicious ww friendly dinner okay guys so this next dinner i've probably made on this channel a million and one times but it's so good and it's so easy especially on those busy days so I actually showed you guys the leftovers of this in the beginning of the video. Like I said, this video is a little bit out of whack, but this is me making the Italian crock pot chicken. Seriously, this stuff is so good. So what you're gonna need is a pack of chicken breasts. I just get these really big ones because I always make leftovers for people at work. It's just kind of like what I do now. So you're going to line a crock pot with your chicken then the only things that you have to add are fat-free cream of chicken, cream cheese, and an Italian seasoning packet. That is literally it. I cook mine on low for six to eight hours. You can cook it on high for four to six hours, whatever your heart desires. But I normally make this on my busy days, so I don't have a lot of time to like check on it and stuff like that. But it's about five points on Weight Watchers and 360 calories. So... Yeah, it's so good. You can eat it by itself. You can eat it with pasta, whatever your heart desires, but I love this stuff. And for the final recipe I'm going to be sharing with you guys, it's these Pizza Supreme Pockets. This recipe is from Drizzle Me Skinny. It is six points on Weight Watchers and they're 182 calories each. If you're on WW, I would probably not recommend this one only because it is six points and you can make one of the pizzas like I've shown you guys before for the same. But if you're calorie counting, it's, it's worth it. It's pretty good. So it's just kind of depending on what you're doing right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a package of Pillsbury pizza dough. I bought the thin crust one because that's all my Kroger had. And you're going to cut that up into about six to eight equal slices. I just did six because it was easier to each their own. So mine were, would be more points and a little bit more calories each, but that's just the way I decided to do it because I wanted them to be like a little bit bigger and I was using the thin crust. So once you cut those up, you're just gonna add the ingredients that you want inside your pizza pocket. So this can be personalized for any kind of person. I put in turkey pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, the reduced fat mozzarella cheese, and pizza sauce. The recipe online calls for diced bell peppers, onion, mushrooms, etc, etc. Add whatever you want. I just went with these basic ones and I love the way they turned out and love the way they tasted. So you're going to fill each pocket and then you're going to fold it up and make sure you're pinching the edges. And then on top of each pizza pocket, I put grated Parmesan, Italian seasoning and then I have that I can't believe it's not butter spray and I sprayed that on top to give it a really nice crunchy texture because I like that butter crust and all you have to do is pop them in the oven literally just follow the instructions on how long to cook the pizza dough so mine was 10 to 12 minutes and let them cool 
I dipped it in some pizza sauce and it was seriously so stinking good. I would definitely recommend this recipe if you are calorie counting. Hey guys, so that is pretty much what I ate this week. I ate leftovers on the nights that I didn't eat anything. I did have Chipotle last night, which Chipotle is a tried and true. Scott was like, do you want Chipotle? And I was like, yeah, your girl wants Chipotle. So I did have Chipotle last night. Today is Friday. You guys will be seeing this video today. That's when I'm going to upload it. I just got home from work doing final last touches on it. Also, I wanted to update you guys because I don't know if I did yet, but I can't remember if I did. But we went to the Van Gogh experience and it was really, really cool. And if it comes to your like town or city, like you need to go to it because it was literally amazing. I thought it was so, so cool. It was the Van Gogh immersive experience and I just thought it was amazing. So I just wanted to shout that out because I thought it was really stinking cool. But yeah, I'm just going to chill. Scott's softball got canceled tonight. So there's no like rush for me to like hurry up, get this video done, get ready for softball. I'm going to curl up and read my Kindle. I've been reading so much recently. So I'm very excited to read some more books. I'm probably going to do that all weekend because it's supposed to rain here literally all weekend. But your girl is going on vacation so soon and I cannot wait. I probably won't have a lot of content while I'm on vacation because I kind of want to just like enjoy it but I will try to film clips here and there maybe I can just like put together like a quick vacation also I'm going I finally booked a vacation um to Punta Cana in December and I am so excited to go back because I love Punta Cana so I have this vacation and my birthday my birthday is the 16th I'm so excited about that too it's just going to be a really good next couple weeks and months, and I'm just really excited about it. So anyway, if you guys like videos like this, like me showing you how I'm making everything, let me know down in the comments, and I will keep doing my like what I eat in a days like this. But yeah, if you like videos like this, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop, lock, and drop those pounds. Bye, guys.